Um, I don't know if the season will be finished yet. Um, you know, I'm optimistic and, you know, hope that, you know, uh, we can continue the season. But, you know, I understand health is first. Uh, so I want to make sure everybody's okay before we start. Because, you know, once we start the season, um, you know, it, we got to make sure that everybody's okay and everybody could uh, continue the season without, you know, the sickness coming up again. So I am optimistic for the season to start. But, you know, first things first, uh, and that's everybody's health. My family has been very important um, to pass the time. Um, my daughter keeps us entertained. Uh, me and my wife uh, watch a lot of shows and a lot of movies. Uh, so because, you know, I have them here, you know, it's a lot easier uh, to go through this time. Um, for our day, you know, um, I wake up around 7.30, 8 o'clock when my daughter wakes up. She wakes us up a little bit uh, early, but you know, that's okay. We get our day started. Um, we have, you know, breakfast as a family. You know, after that, either me or my wife will take our daughter out um, for an hour walk, you know, get her some fresh air. Um, and then when she comes back, uh, you know, we play a little bit more, read to her, and then uh, she goes for her nap. Uh, then when she wakes up from her nap, you know, uh, my wife watches her while I'm able to work out, whether that's on the bike, um, you know, do upper body lift or lower body lift. Um, then after that, you know, we get lunch, you know, hang around as a family, you know, call everybody back home um, until it's uh, bedtime for my daughter. You know, then we put her down and then, you know, me and my wife, you know, we watch one of our shows or our movies uh, before we go to bed. Uh, what I try to do not to lose my smile, um, just be positive about everything. Um, you know, I know it's a tough time um, with everything going on, um, but you know, my family is healthy. You know, I'm healthy. Um, you know, the people around me are healthy, and you know that makes me happy. So, um, you know, just trying to stay positive. Uh, you know, always thinking, you know, of the best uh, possible scenario instead of the worst. Um, so that makes me smile every day. Calling my 80 year old fans, um, you know, it was great, you know, talking to them. Um, you know, if you're at the games, you always see me, you know, going to them before the game and then after the game. Um, you know, they're so supportive and, um, you know, I love their support um, from the day that I played, even uh, the first time I played with Zaragoza. Um, they were always there uh, being supportive and especially this year, you know, being able to know them better. And uh, for me being able to call them and know that they're in good spirits, uh, that put a smile on my face. Uh, my daughter would definitely become a baby influencer. Uh, she's, uh, she loves the camera, she's just like her dad. Um, but you know, we just have fun with it. Uh, you know, we just made an Instagram for her, you know, just out of fun and you know, it's picked up so much. Um, but we're so happy that, you know, people support it. You know, people love seeing her, love seeing pictures and videos. Um, you know, initially we did it to, you know, keep everybody back home, you know, up to speed with how she's growing and what she's doing. But you know, it took off and now she's more famous than I am. <laughs> Um, you know, after playing basketball, um, you know, I definitely want to be an influencer in uh, some regard. Um, whether that's for a company, you know, whether that's for my own company. You know, I love people. I love to talk to people. I love, uh, you know, giving people my creative ideas to do different things. Um, you know, obviously, uh, I'm on social media a lot. And, you know, it's not because, you know, to, you know, get famous or anything. I just love to interact with people. And, you know, I think that's why I'm um, so successful in connecting with the fans. It's because, you know, I just love it. Uh, and I don't do it for no gain. I just, you know, love talking to people and love, you know, putting a smile on people's faces. Um, yes, of course. You know, I can't wait to see everybody uh, on the team. Um, you know, obviously we're all at our own houses, you know, haven't been able to see each other, but you know, we've been going through a long season together and you know, it, it was, it's been a good season. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see everybody. Um, we have a group message that where we talk, um, even though it's in Spanish most of the time, uh, some people are translated for me, um, but you know, I'm so excited to see them. Um, you know, hopefully we can start training together uh, very soon. And you know, even besides basketball, you know, seeing them as friends, you know, it's gonna be uh, good to reunite with them. 
Uh, my message for the fans is, you know, we appreciate all the support, um, you know, whether I'm walking my daughter and, you know, people would just, you know, wave high and, you know, say they're still supporting us or, you know, social media, people reaching out to me. Um, you know, I thank you. And, um, you know, I hope we get through this. You know, I hope everybody's staying healthy at home. Um, and hopefully the season starts up again. And, you know, if it does, you know, I hope you guys come back to the games when they allow you. Uh, and, you know, we can finish this off uh, great. But thank you for all your support. Um, it means a lot, you know, whether it's on the court or off the court. And you know, I appreciate, you know, every piece of love that you've shown me, my family, as well as the team.